Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today in this tutorial, I am going to show you how we can implement this app UI in our React Native app. So as you can see over here, this is our Food Finder app and this is the home screen of that app. Here we have the slider and then we have some categories and after that we have recently viewed items. And if we visit any category, then we will be presented with list of items of that category. And if we visit any item of that list, then we will be presented with the detail screen. And here we have this animated header. Okay. So this is what we are going to implement. And in this tutorial, I will show you how to implement this layout only. And in next tutorial, I will show you how to implement these sections how we can implement this animated header layout and if we look into android emulator then we can see we have similar kind of things present right and we can go to list item screen and we can go to the detail screen and here the animated header is also working perfectly right and let me tell you that this tutorial is a part of a tutorial series where i am showing you how to implement different parts of our react native app as you can see over here we have this bottom tab navigator and in this bottom tab navigator we have different screens as well so i have already shown you how to implement this swipe to delete functionality and how to create this profile screen and we have different other functionality as well so i have already shown you how to implement all these kind of things in my previous tutorials also i have shown you how to create this explore screen layout with the help of react native map library so if you find this tutorials interesting then i will suggest you to check out my tutorial playlist i will link that in the description below or you can find that from my icon so if you are interested in this kind of tutorial then hit the like button subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this and don't forget to hit the notification bell icon so that you get notified whenever i post a new tutorial on this channel so without wasting any more time let's get started with the tutorial Okay, so we are at the home screen.js file and this is how our home screen is looking right now we need to implement the layout in this file and we will also require this main tab screen.js file which is also present in our screens directory and we will need this file because we want to make some changes in our header as well so that's why we need these two files and i will start implementing our layout in this section first we need to create this slider so for that we need to install a package here and that package is called react native swiper here you can see some example right and we will implement this kind of example in our home page layout so let's install it so to install it first we need to copy this command and paste it here it has been installed now let's see what else we need to do we don't need to do anything we can now start using it and to use it we need to import this swiper and in this swiper we can provide our view and we can customize it we have different kind of props available so let me import it now within this swiper we can provide the view which we want to display and in this view we want to display an image so for that we need to provide an image and this image needs to be imported from react native so let me do that and now i need to provide a source for it and source of it would be from this asset banners so i will use food banner 1 jpg and similarly we have 2 3 4 5 i will use 3 images in this slider resize mode i will use cover now let me copy this once again and for this swiper i will currently provide height of 200 pixel and now here i will import some styling for our slider so i will quickly copy paste it over here and then i will discuss it so i have pasted the stylings here you can pause the video and take note of these codes so we need to use slider container slide and slider image slider container will be another view which will wrap this slider which is the swiper so for this style i will use this slider container and this closing view will be here and then we have this slide and slider image so that slide will be present in this view 
and each slide view will contain an image so i cannot wrap two image in a slide view so for that i will copy it again now save it now after saving it we can see we have the images present over here but we haven't implemented another style which is the slide image now save it now it's looking good but right now it's not sliding automatically we can see your slider dots present over here we will change the position of it so for that we need to provide some props for this swiper api now let's see what we can do so here we have some props so we need to use this autoplay to slide the images automatically by default it is set to false and we need to set it to true so i have set it to autoplay now after saving it we can see it's playing automatically but i want to slide it vertically so for that i can provide horizontal false after saving it we can see the dots has been positioned here and our slider is sliding vertically so now it's working as we wanted right now i want to change the color of this dot so currently which dot is active that is in the blue color i want to change that so to change that we will have another prop so here the active dot and by default the dot has this component so if we want to change the component then we can provide another component as per our requirement to this active dot but i don't want to change the look of this dot i want to change the color only so for that we have this active dot color present and we can provide the color over there so here we have this active dot color and for this i will provide a color so now save it after saving it we can see that the color has been changed to our brand color so it's working perfectly now let me add another slider here so now it has been completed now i want to make some changes in this header so first let me see what we need to do so here we can see the header color has been changed to white color and we will change the title to food finder and we will provide this search icon along with our profile image so for that we need to make the changes in this section so for the header style currently we have this color so i will change this color to white color and tint color will be this color now i can see the header has been changed but this hamburger menu icon has this color so i will change that so now it's looking good now i want to provide some margin in this section so for that i will wrap this in a view and for this style of it i will provide margin left 10 pixel now it's aligned perfectly now i want to add the search icon and the profile image so for that i will provide header right so this is for header left and for the header right i will provide another icon button so i can copy it from here and it will be icon search so our search is present now beside this i will provide the profile image so for that i will use avatar image and this avatar image source uri will be our profile image right so i can grab that from our profile and make sure you import this avatar from react native paper now save this now after saving this we have some error because we cannot provide two element like this we need to provide our wrapper view and within that view we can provide these elements after saving it we can see that the profile image is present and the search icon is above that so definitely we need to work on our layout first let me provide some styling for this wrapper view and here the flex direction will be row so now these two sitting besides each other now for this avatar image size i will provide 30 so it has been sized properly now i need to provide margin right 10 pixel and i want to give the user the ability to click on this profile image and then he will be presented with the profile screen so for that i need to wrap this with touchable opacity so here i will provide that navigator and in this touchable opacity style i will provide some styling 
i will provide padding horizontal 10 now it has been aligned properly but now i want to provide margin top 5 so now it's looking good now change the title of it so it has been changed now for the on press of it the user will be navigate to profile and for the search icon currently i will provide an empty function so now we are visiting the profile screen so it's working perfectly now if you see that in this header section we have a border i don't want that i want to remove that so for that i will provide a shadow color as white color now after that that border has been removed so it is working for ios for android we need to provide this elevation equal to zero and it will work for android and i have already shown you that in my previous tutorial for this profile screen so this is for android this is for ios and also i have implemented another thing which i also want to implement here which is this dark theme so if we choose dark theme then our app background is changed to dark mode but our header is not changing so we need to change that and i have already implemented previously in our profile screen so i can just copy those code from here and i can use it in our home stack and to use that we need to also use these colors from use theme for this home stack i have changed this so after saving it it's showing the error because we haven't implemented these colors from use theme so let me grab that from here as well and to use it we need to wrap this complete section with this curly braces and we can return it and then i can use these colors now save it now after saving it let's see so for the dark theme it's working but we need to change these two colors as well so it will be colors text and it will be colors background so it's working perfectly so now copy this for this search icon so it has been completed properly now we will implement other parts of the screen we need to add this category section and this recently viewed section so for that within this home screen after this slider container view we will add another view and within this view we will use the category icons and so for that we need to use the icons and for the icon we will import it from react native vector icons so i have imported this ion icons and similarly we will require material community icons and this fontisto icon so now we can use these icons I will use this icon size of it will be 35 and for the color of it I will use our brand color which is this color so here we can see the icon and this wrapper view will provide this circle around this icon so I need to provide a style over here and this style will be category icon and this wrapper view style will be category container so now i can copy this category icon several times now i will copy paste some styles here so i have pasted the styles you can pause the video and take note of these styles now save it after saving it we can see that it's showing perfectly now we need to provide some spacing in between this and for that we have another style which we will use for our touchable opacity because we want to use this as a button and for this touchable opacity style we will use category button and for the on press of it currently i will provide empty function now copy this several times now save it and now it is not showing anything because we need to import this touchable opacity from react native not from this gesture handler which is automatically imported by vs code now after saving it we can see it's showing perfectly so now let me quickly change the icons now after this i will provide another set of icons here
okay so now it's working perfectly now i want to reduce the gap from here currently if we see this category icon has the margin top 25 now i want to provide margin top 10 so the spacing has been reduced after this view we will add another view for recently viewed items like this which is pretty simple we will add some card type layout here so let me quickly do this thing but before that i want to paste some styles over here so here i have pasted some styling for the cards so you can pause the video and take note of these codes or else you can get this code from my github repo i will upload this to my github and you can find that link in the description below so now as you can see we have this card card image wrapper cards wrapper so we will create this card wrapper so for this view style i will provide this cards wrapper and then i will provide a text now after this text i will create those cards so for that i will provide a view and for the style of this view it will be card and then we will have another view which will contain the card image so it will be card image wrapper and here i will provide the image and for that we need to import that image which is already imported now i need to provide the source and for this source i will provide images from my assets directory so i can copy paste it resize mode will be cover and for the style of it i will use card image and after this we will display some informations right so after this view we will create another view the style of this view will be card info then we will have a title for the style of it i will use card title and after this title we will display star ratings and then a description right so i have already created a star rating component previously when i have shown you this explore tab here you can see the star ratings so i can use that and that i have created in this components directory so i can use that star rating component so make sure you import that it has been automatically imported by vs code and now we need to provide some props and that props will be ratings and reviews so it's working perfectly now we need to provide another text and here we will provide some description and for the style of it i will use card details so now we can copy this card few times it has been added but now we cannot scroll through our page so for that here we need to add the scroll view and we need to import that from react native not from this react native gesture handler now i need to close this now if we see then it is working perfectly right and now i will change styling of this so i will paste some style here okay so it's working perfectly now i can see that i haven't provided this text so i need to provide that text for these categories now for the style of it i will use category button text and that i will use after this view so now it's working perfectly let me quickly add this for all of these items so now it's working perfectly and for the dark theme it's also working perfect right and if you want you can change the color of this card as well as i have changed the color of this header and if you face any kind of difficulties then you can check out my dark theme tutorial so this is it guys this is the tutorial i hope you have learned something new from this tutorial in our next tutorial i will show you how to implement animated header as i have shown you at the beginning of this tutorial stay tuned for that so if you find this tutorial helpful to you then hit the like button subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this and let me know by commenting down below if you have any kind of suggestion for me then also let me know and i will see you guys in my next tutorial in the meantime have a great day goodbye